Claim ID. Clear. All weapons. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the chiral network will sweep the rebirth of America. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We... But... Hartman will help you get it done. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Malingan's special. Be funny if these ha of ours ended up being the key to saving us all.
Displaying performance evaluation. Request to join UCA. Registered. Awaiting Cupid connection.
hard, man. Administering shock. Stand clear. <laughs> Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Mm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart whence heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time, and search for them, day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man? It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short.
I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally, the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one.
No luck. Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the 21-minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go-around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21-minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21-minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. People who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. 
I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain <laughs> lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armely proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. <laughs> Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mantle absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. is to put a shelter and we don't know the first thing about that that's a concern but we won't know more until we get to edge nuts you should start with the geologist and the paleontologist the latter's holding something for the evil devil biologist so i recommend you save her for last but once all three are on the grid come back here then we can get to work on the replacement for that A geologist of ours has been studying fossils. 
He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now, and has begun to suffer the effects of no doubt the result of excessive exposure to Chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will he. So, we need you to bring him some Chirelium scrubbing agent. Administering shock. Stand clear. The stratum the team was investigating the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaur. It's the most recent of the big five. In any event, our team... Can you guess what it was? A fossil. If that is indeed what it is, then it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents. One more thing. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says... Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives, but in case I... Make sure you keep that container in one piece. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow cap... Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a laugh. ...thing effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his Doom's abilities seem to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange. Age, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCord. <laughs>
Express ID verified. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. visions you doom sufferers see that end of day stuff i put the nightmares down to fatigue a uh, possibility of chiral contamination every uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suit dying's not an option my research it's not just my life you're saving here it's my life's work i started to wonder if i'd ever see these meds i guess you really are good at what you do thank you Just excited. I can you believe I found chiral deposit evidence of an ancient chiral matter has existed this stratum. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the chirelium. In the distant past, earthquakes caught producing layers of what is known as pseudotaculite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here. The presence of Corellium in this of all it strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared, and not just them. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches, that would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other... In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every... But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. Restrictions 
Appreciate it, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Set up the Chiron. As it turns out, Sam Bridges, a local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost... He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hit. That's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an... Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But, what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposed Where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can... But you... you... To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed... 200 million years of another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beat? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms under... We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the... Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. An oxygen mask, huh? It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to... 
If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you. Order a sign. is immaculately pres Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with... I've already sent some images and a preliminary... Interestingly, it seems the surround... Which lines up with... Anyway, I... I... Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable. To clarify, she has been stuck. Accordingly, I would ask that you and deliver them along with the Amon. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself. By aiding her research, we may yet inch close. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish. Good work. New order available.
weapons restrictions lifted.
on it and the tar inside is safe and secure you do not disappoint my friend now connect me to the chiral network that's where my studies will truly begin
goes without saying, but uh, after all, but sudden environmental changes, those that do adapt to these genetic factors, but there are genes which have the op extinction factor. These are the seeds of such factors may lie dormant within us all, but for every being since the, if so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the top evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in no in any event thanks to you i can now study the c i'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later well done sam you furthered our research into the death stranding in ways you cannot imagine thank you again for bringing me mama's body as well as that ammonite speaking of which my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Good work. New order available. 